Hey guys, how's it going? Today I will show you how to jailbreak your Amazon Fire TV Stick in 2023, how to download different apps for free, streaming apps, free games, applications of all kinds, everything is going to be available for free if you jailbreak your Fire Stick. So let's dip down in how to jailbreak a Fire Stick in 2023. And also before we actually start jailbreaking a Fire TV, a small mention for me. In the description of this video you'll find affiliate links from me, such as Amazon Prime for free, Amazon Music for free, best discounts on Fire TV sticks, a discount on NordVPN, which is basically a best premium VPN out here. And if you found my link, you get one month for free. So yeah, you'll find some affiliate links with great deals. If you follow the link, you get a great deal, but also you support me. It doesn't cost anything extra for you, but I will get a small commission as a small appreciation for my work and we both would be happy. Now let's proceed to jailbreaking your Fire TV stick. So the first thing we gotta do is go to search and download an app called Downloader. It's a free application and it can be downloaded from the official app store. So as you can see, it already popped out here at the bottom, but if it didn't in your case, just type in the whole name of the application, which is Downloader. Here it is and let's download it for free from the official Amazon app store. And now we are downloading the app. It's installing. Now when we're finished, the downloader app is going to appear right here or in the list of our applications. Basically what downloader does, it allows us to sideload or download any other application from the internet, uh, those apps that are not available in the official Amazon App Store by default. And that's the only easy way to sideload other applications to your Fire Stick. No need to find a flash drive and an adapter to connect it to your Fire Stick, you can download everything from the web while using the downloader app. So that's what is great about it. But it's not going to work that easy out of the box. We still need to tweak some settings. To do so, hold down your home button or just press on a gear icon. Go to settings. My Fire TV. And here, as you can see, I already have developer options enabled on my Fire TV stick. And there are lots of different versions of Fire TV sticks. Some of them have developer options out of the box, some of them don't. So if you don't see the developer options here yet, firstly we have to go to About, select Fire TV stick, and then just press on the middle button of your controller uh, four or seven times. So let's do it. Now at the bottom, as you can see, it says no need, you are already a developer in my case. In your case, it will say that you have become a developer now. That's great news. And if you go back a bit, you will finally see the developer options here. Press on them. Make sure to enable the ADB debugging. Then we go to install unknown apps and make sure to enable that option for the loader. So what it does, it allows the loader to install other applications from the internet. Like I mentioned, uh, the loader is great for side loading apps, especially those apps which are not available in the official Amazon App Store. And if you're new to Fire Stick devices, there are also some settings which I recommend uh, changing or tweaking a bit. So if we go back, then we go to Preferences. There are some things which we can control. First of all, let's go to Featured Content. I really recommend disabling the autoplay of video and audio. What it's going to do is it disables the annoying ads, which you see all the time that you enable your Fire TV Stick. On the main screen also usually it blasts the audio totally so you'll have no more issues with that as well if you disable those features then go back a bit notifications i honestly hate notifications especially on my fire tv stick but if you enable the do not interrupt mode you are not going to get any more useless notifications back again we can go to data usage monitoring i bet nobody wants somebody to snoop on them so just disable the data usage monitoring. This way Amazon won't be able to track what exactly you're doing with your data. And also some more settings, we can go to privacy. And here I recommend disabling the device usage data. Here on the screen you can see what data Amazon uses and why, but I'm pretty sure it's not the whole list of the data it actually uses. So turn it off. Also turn off the collection of app usage data because we really don't want Amazon to know what apps and for how long we are using, and of course, interest-based ads should be disabled as well. 
and that's pretty much it with the settings. Now I can finally go to the loader and start using it to jailbreak the Fire TV stick. When you first open the loader, it's going to ask for allowance to access photos, media, and files in their device. It actually is necessary because we are going to use it to download other files, so we must allow it to access files on our device. Then you see a search bar here on the screen, and in that search bar, we are going to type Aptoid TV. Aptoid TV is an application which we are going to use to uh, say load other applications to our Fire Stick, or in other words, to jailbreak our Fire TV Stick. So just type Aptoid TV and press on go. Here in the search results, you'll see that link, tv.uptoy.com. Click on it. A website is going to open, scroll down a bit. As you can see, Uptoy TV is a free alternative app store for Android TV, TV boxes, or Fire TV sticks. Scroll down a bit more, and you'll see that big red download Uptoy TV button, and that's exactly what we're looking for. So click on that button and the download process has started. Usually it doesn't take long, but of course it all depends on your internet connection. Then in the right bottom corner, we press on install, but before clicking on open, we press on done, and then we delete the installation files. I recommend always deleting installation files on your Fire TV stick because we don't need them anymore after we have installed the applications, but your Fire Stick has very low amount of free storage anyway, so don't log it with the unnecessary download files. And after that, the download is finished. We can go back to the home screen, to the list of applications on your device. And here you'll see the Aptoid TV finally. You click on the app, press OK here, allow it to access your files on the device once again, because uh, we will need to download applications via Aptoid, so it's necessary to allow it to access uh, media and files. And after that, you can discover all the apps, categories, and all the things on Aptoid TV. It's really a great way to jailbreak your Fire Stick. Also, if you're looking for a VPN or thinking about getting a VPN, then I can really recommend getting a NordVPN, which is definitely the best premium VPN out there. Also, in the pinned comment of this video, you'll find a link to NordVPN, which is going to provide you with one month of service totally for free, which is a way better deal compared to what you would get on their a regular website. You can use a VPN to access geoblock content, get more movies on Netflix, on Amazon Prime, Hulu, and of course other streaming apps. It also helps with internet speed if your internet provider is throttling your speed when you're trying to stream something. And most importantly, VPN also protects your data and your privacy when you're browsing online because it encrypts all the data that you send through the internet. So if you want to give NordVPN a try, make sure to use that link in a pinned comment. And I hope the video was helpful, make sure to hit the like button, sub my channel, and here are two more videos on the screen which might be useful for you.